It's a uh, well, I guess you said twenty twenty ten. I say Drake, Kendrick, Cole, Kanye, and um, who was the fifth spot? I mean, well, hey, I forgot cool. about Nikki. Nikki does already get mentioned at least though. Nikki needs to be mentioned definitely. Yeah, she's yeah. definitely. <laughs> I say Nick. 2020s? What about 2020? No, I'm just... 2020, little baby, early, <laughs> but it is, it's little baby. I would say, um, I would say oh, Lil, I would say Dirt. Uh, I say little Baby Dirt. You could definitely throw Cole in there. Yeah, Cole in there again. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. I like, I, you know, much, how much I like Kendra. I'm not putting them in there. I'm not. I'm sorry. Well, they, they, I mean, off of one album, I'm not. And then you got, you know, you could throw those Gazelle guys in there. Yeah, I got Benny. I probably put Benny and Conway, or you could just throw them in as a group, really. Yeah. I mean, I, I just like Ben. I don't know. People saying Conway better than Benny. I listen to Benny way more. I like Benny though. Sure. You invite Joe? Yeah, he had declined the first time. Huh? He might be ready now. Yeah, but that uh. I don't know. Uh, Kodak, because at first when I, I ain't gonna lie, that uh, all them niggas on on uh, uh, Charlamagne was like, man, we judge you like, man, he's just a mumble rapper. But that's how all of us old niggas do. Because <laughs> like, actually when I listen to Kodak, I'm like, he actually be talking about the struggle. Like, he, I like I like Kodak, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Nah, so, I mean, I, I've listened to some songs, but I think I think the world really appreciated what he did with Super Grimly. What he, what he did with what? What he did with Super Grimly. You yeah, no, that that, uh, that single went. I think the single went platinum. The album went gold. So he had a good year this year. I think you can't really discount what he did and how good he's getting, and it's still how young he is. Yeah, he only twenty four. Yeah, it's like a lot of these guys twenty. I think Dirt twenty nine. He's still young. So but I was saying like Brazil and them. They've been rapping. Tanner Talk One came out in 04, So really, Benny been out since oh four, like well, mixtape wise. Well, Drake about to be thirty six. Yep. Now you're right about when you was arguing with our boy. You like this is 13 here in the main. How many people actually last that long? Did Ti last that long? Did 50 last that long? Did Ja Rule and Ellie? Um, I'm talking about as far as like at their peak, like it was like Urban they Legend through Ti versus Tip, like his primes. That long, and we didn't allow them. Yeah. As well, to be fair. But a lot of people uh, faded away. Remember, Ludacris started making that other shit, and Ludacris retired once he said, "Man, I ain't even got it. No, I'm done." Ludacris just stepped away and started doing movies. But like, so they don't respect Drake for like still putting, like, giving us music at least. The problem um, is the old guys get putting music out, not going plat. If you think about it, the label, the label is a business too. So just look, look at talented artists, like say, like a. Uh, I'm trying to think of somebody that's real, real talented, like Joe Budden or Cassie, somebody like that. Like, yeah, y'all can rap, but it's like if you don't got that hit, sometimes they don't even let you put out an album, though. That's what they, uh, like, that's what Cole was saying too about, like, he couldn't find that right hit. So it's just like, yeah, it's the industry. It's kind of like, yeah, if you don't go platinum, why would they invest a hundred? They gotta make their money back. So that's why you see a lot of guys like JD Kiss. Like, of course, we know how good he is, but album wise, hit wise, he probably just didn't, you know. Yeah. And get to let them grow, man. Yeah. Um, Who do you think the top five lyricists are? Like lyricists.